Today I'm going to be breaking down the numbers on a rental property that you can buy with less than $14,000 in your pocket. Dwayne, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holden Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. All right, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. I am your host, James Wise. Behind the scenes, we got Tommy bringing all of the action to you guys. Now, Dwayne, this, this video, this is for my guy Dwayne, Dwayne out in Daly City, California. Uh, Dwayne, Basically, uh, you have invested in equities uh, throughout the years, uh, but now you're looking to move some money and you would like to uh, add real estate to your current investment portfolio. Um, you are looking for something that was a little niche. Uh, you, you had a decent like list of things you wanted to accomplish. You have a total budget of $70,000. You have 70000 cash to work with, and your goal is to do a Burr deal. Okay, For everybody watching this who doesn't know, Burr, that's B-R-R-R-R, -R -R -R, B and four R's. That stands for buy, uh, renovate, refinance, rent, repeat. I did that all backwards. It's, it's, it's uh, buy, rehab, uh, rent refinance and repeat that is the correct order you definitely got to refinance that bad boy uh, before you uh definitely got to uh, rehab that bad boy before you refinance is what i'm trying to get out of my mouth right now all right so that's what a bird deal is Dwayne. you're hoping to do a bird deal with your 70k and uh, you're hoping to either do a single family or a duplex in a, in a really really nice c C neighborhood like a C plus on the border of a B or essentially a B. So more or less, you're, you're looking for like a B. Uh, you know, those are neighborhoods kind of like you know C plus B. That's like uh, Euclid or like Garfield Heights, right? That's like probably the the best locations for you here in the Cleveland market. Uh, there isn't any any area of Cleveland proper that would work for that. I would consider all that like pure C. Uh, so more or less, we're just going to be checking out areas like Garfield Heights and Euclid. That's where we uh, can come closest to hitting your goals. Now you wanted to do a single family or a duplex you're not able to do duplexes that's off the board uh the budget is is too low for duplexes not not gonna be able to do a deal with 70k cash on a, a b-class duplex so that takes us to singles and then after you do your refinance you want to make sure the property cash flows um so you know i scoured the mls right i was looking at everything and like i said the biggest things would, would probably be like garfield heights and euclid and um I'm looking through the MLS here, and I found a really nice property that I think will work for your goals, but it's going to be a slightly different thing than what you were planning on doing. Um, there wasn't anything really that I thought was worthwhile uh, that I could achieve all of your goals that would cash flow at the end, that would hit the B class, and that we could go in and do the bird deal at 70k cash. Right? You either needed a ton more money, or you needed to go down to a crappier neighborhood. Okay. I assumed, uh, you know, because you said you're risk adverse, this is your first ever investment in real estate. I assumed that going into a uh, higher risk neighborhood, I think that would be a bad move. So I didn't want to do that. Um, if you only have 70K, if I find you a sweet ass bird deal uh, that's going to require you to have 85K, well, I ain't going to do you any good if you only got 70K. Uh, so something had to give, right? Because I can't, can't sell you what's not available. Um, so this is what I did. I assumed, right, the whole goal, the whole reason we do bird deals, right, is uh, we have a limited amount of cash. In your case, it's $70,000. And you want to stretch that $70,000 into as much uh, real estate as possible. Now, when folks do bird deals, uh, you know, let's just use easy numbers, right? Like uh, you buy a property and you're all in uh, for, let's say, $50,000, 
then it appraises, or let's say you're all in for 75,000. You do a deal, you're all in for 75,000. Then you get it to appraise, it appraises for 100,000. You gotta keep 25% equity, so the bank will loan you back 75,000. That's like in the best, best case scenario, the dream case scenario, the dream world, the dream bird deal, is you end up with all of your money back, right? You're into the deal for 75K, it appraises for 100, so the bank gives you back 75K. Uh, those deals are not like super replicable, like that's not gonna happen all the time. Um, when you buy an investment property, right, you got to put 25% down. So if you were to do a deal, right, anything that would keep you less than 25. So if it's a hundred thousand dollar property you bought with a loan and you got 25 K as the down payment, if it was like turnkey, right? So if you do a bird deal, anything less, uh, than that 25 K, uh, should be considered a win because you're in for a little bit less, uh, that's like one way to continue to stretch those funds. But even then, with the amount of money you had, I didn't really see anything that would work like that. So I shifted uh, slight gears because I think it still accomplishes what you want to do, right? Your whole goal is to ultimately end up with like a little bit of your of your cash, right? You're trying to stretch that 70K, right? So if you found something for like 100K and we did the burn instead of you having a maintain 25,000 in there maybe you only had to maintain 19,000 or 18,000 right you know that's a successful burr that'd be like if we were all in for 75 and we got it to appraise for like 89 or 90 right not the full dream scenario because that's not realistic uh but that's like what that would be uh, but i didn't really see anything with your budget that would do that so in the same way to accomplish that ultimate goal is getting you a solid rental property in a B-class neighborhood that's going to cash flow for you. Uh, I did some digging and I found this really badass property that you are not even going to need to have $14,000 into this thing. You're only going to need to put down $13,750 and it accomplishes all your goals. Um, so let's check it out, okay? The address, 12332 Southern Avenue, Garfield Heights. Uh, zip code 44125. This is a nice, nice little rental house, okay? Just a nice little rental house. And this thing, you know, all the hard work has already been done. You're going to be able to cash flow from day one on this thing. It's already got a tenant in there. The tenant is paying $910 a month. So that's $10,920 a year. And looking at the photos, um, the garage that's you know just a messy garage but this is what i'm talking about look at this inside here okay like look at these nice tile floors these cabinets these are nice little full market countertop totally fine for what we want to do you know this is a great little rental you got the stainless steel stove i mean this is just nice you got the agreeable gray paint this is the kind of paint that we use here at holden wise i like the white trim looking good Okay, nice, nice looking wood floors. I mean, this is a nice, neat little rental property. All right, so, you know, we don't want to stretch your budget or go to something that's more risky when I could just find you something like this and you're only going to need to put down 13750 for you to get this. And then we don't even have to worry about the renovations. You're just going to go ahead and, you know, grab your money. One thing to note, though, uh, hot water tanks. Okay, so hot water tank. We'll talk about costs and stuff and when I get to the capital expenditures, that's where you uh, factor this type of stuff in. These last about 15 years. All right, this one's pretty new. It's probably only a couple years old. Uh, this furnace, the seller said that uh, it was recently inspected, so that means it's working. That's fine, but that is definitely an older furnace. I'd say that's probably a 25-year-old furnace. Furnaces are going to last you roughly 30 years. So uh, if you started having issues with that furnace, we would want to go ahead and replace that furnace. The cost to replace that furnace would be about $3,000. Doesn't mean you got to do it tomorrow. Doesn't mean you got to do it next week. I'm just letting you know that when you get an inspection on this property, your home inspector, he's going to look at that furnace and he's going to, they all write this. It's the exact same thing. They say, uh, furnace is past its usual, uh, the furnace is past its, uh, useful life. Uh, recommend a licensed HVAC technician come in and take a look. You don't need to have a licensed HVAC tech come take a look because they're going to tell you the same thing. It is. It's past its useful life. It's probably 25, 35, 40 years old, something like that. Whenever that thing goes down, all you got to do, man, is you're just going to replace it. Get yourself another brand new furnace. This hot water tank, uh, these last about 15 years. So you're probably in the first five years of your life on that one. So you got some time on that one. But when you do replace that, that's going to be a $1,000 bill. And again, we are going to account for that when I get to the numbers and we go over our capital expenditures. I just wanted to bring that to your attention.
Discount Property Warehouse, founded by real estate visionary Robert Thiel, author of The Short-Term Retirement Program, is a complete turnkey solution for acquiring cash-flowing investment properties in Memphis, Tennessee. Our turnkey properties include a third-party home inspection, new HVAC with 10-year warranties, new dimensional roofs, competitive price-to-rent ratios, discounted property insurance, in-house property management, private financing, and much more. At Discount Property Warehouse, we have a staff of licensed agents standing by, ready to assist you with every aspect of the process. Call us today or visit us online at discountpropertywarehouse.com. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business, who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to HoltonWise.com today. All right, Dwayne, welcome back, man. All right, so the reason that you can get this property for under 14000 cash out of your pocket is because the purchase price on this bad boy is only $55,000. We already got that tenant in there paying nine ten dollars for you, all right? Now, Garfield Heights has what's called a point of sale uh, requirement. What that means is the city has to come in. Anytime a seller tries to sell a property in Garfield Heights, the city comes in and they inspect it. They issue violations, right? So things like, uh, you know, they're famous for like peeling paint or cracking concrete, right? The seller is not legally allowed to sell their property in Garfield Heights. They cannot transfer title until either A, they clear off all those violations, or B, they get a buyer, that would be you, to assume those violations. If you assume those violations, you have to put money in escrow, all right, with the city, and then you have to pay your contractors to handle all of those violations, fix all those things with different money. You don't get to use the money you put in escrow. You got to put up different money. And then and only then, once the city comes out and inspects all your repairs, will they give you back your original money you put in escrow. And if you don't do this uh, in the time period that they give you, you could face, you know, you could face criminal uh, building code violations, right? Cool thing here, though, is the seller is willing to sell the property POS clear. So you don't have to worry about that. So you're going to get this totally POS clear. So this is essentially a pure turnkey property. So the purchase price is 55000 You have no renovation costs. So the total investment in this property is only going to be 55000 Now, breaking down how much money you're actually going to make on a monthly basis, let's do that now. The rent, like I said, nine ten. Now, you got repairs and maintenance. We're going to average that out to 45 bucks a month. You're not going to spend 45 bucks every single month on little tic tac items. It's going to be like eight months of no repairs, and then you know, you're know you going to have a couple hundred dollar service call, or like it could be like two years of nothing, and then you have a $3,000 turnover. So that's where we're factoring in that $540 a year. You're going to be saving that. Now, vacancy and non-payment of rent. If your tenant doesn't pay you nine ten anymore, right? I can't stand here and tell you your tenants are always going to pay you rent. So you got to factor that in because eventually you're going to have a tenant who doesn't pay or you're going to have a tenant who moves out. And there's going to be times where 910 does not come in a month. Uh, capital expenditures, we're going to budget 45 or 540 a year. Those are your big ticket items. I talked about the furnace earlier, $3,000 to replace that. I talked about the hot water tank, uh, $1,000 to replace that. Going uh, here, like this roof right here. This is a 30-year roof. Eventually, you're going to have to replace that roof. Cool thing is it's a pretty small house, so it's actually a really cheap roof. Uh, that's probably only a $4,000 roof. But, you know, every 30 years, you're going to have to spend $4,000. So we're saving up for that. So we're saving five forty. dollars We're budgeting for that because we know it's going to happen. As far as taxes go, that's $149 a month. Insurance, you got to pay insurance, of course. That's $80 a month. Uh, in the show notes below, I got a link to my insurance company, the Hogue Insurance Agency. My uh, associate, Kevin, uh, he can get you a quote. It should be about $80, might be even cheaper since it's a you know, fairly cheap property. Uh, what we do at that insurance company is we only you know, work with real estate investors. We only handle that stuff. And we'll kick it around to various insurance providers looking for the best deal, right? We're not trying to you know, insure your Mercedes or your fancy houses where you guys live, right? What we do is we do rental property insurance, and we, we focus on the one thing that I know you guys want, getting the very cheapest possible policy, Okay, the cheapest possible policy to increase your ROI, but we got to make sure you get an appropriate amount of liability insurance in case the tenant is ever injured at your property or something of that nature. But 
You'll have to talk to Kevin for a more uh, detailed quote on the individual property, but I'm thinking you'll be at about 80. Uh, <clears throat> lawn care on this one, cool thing with this property is we do not have any lawn care to worry about. Yes, you will have to pay um, Holton Wise to uh, cut the grass when the property is vacant, but when the time comes when you have a tenant in there, which is going to be you know the overwhelming majority of the time, that's going to be a zero on your budget, right? Because the tenant, they're going to go ahead and cover their grass. So if you were to buy a duplex, you wouldn't have that, okay? That's a nice luxury of buying a single family home. Uh, I, I left one out. I forgot water and sewer. Uh, I would anticipate you're going to spend roughly 75 bucks a month on water and sewer. That's a tough one uh, to estimate. Uh, because every tenant's going to be different, how long they take showers. But, you know, having run thousands and thousands of tenants over the years, I can tell you that 75 bucks uh, per rental unit is a very reasonable estimate. And then the last thing we got is property management. Okay, that's going to be $91 a month. That's going to take your total estimated expenses up to 530 So, of that 910 that you're bringing in, you should be spending on average 530. Remember, some months are going to be better, some are going to be worse, some years are going to be better, some years are going to be worse. Some properties, like if you bought 10 of this exact same property, you know, some are going to perform different than the others. This is just, you know, general ballpark. Uh, you should be spending on average 530. Um, that's going to leave you with an NOI of 380 a month, man. So 380 a month, right? Or 4553. But you wanted to burr, so I don't want you to pay cash, bro. Like I said, you could do this with under fourteen grand. You wanted to do a burr. If we just have you buy this property cash right now, there'd be no point to refinancing it later because the you're you're not doing any repairs. You don't have to do any repairs, right? So the the bank they're just going to utilize your purchase price. If you picked it up at fifty five, there's really no justification that uh, you have that it's worth more than fifty five. It's an arm's length transaction. It's listed by another agent which I don't know if I mentioned, it's listed by some company called uh, Red Diamond Realty. So there would be no point to doing the burst. So let's have you do the loan up front, bro. Okay, so you just do the loan up front. That means your down payment on that loan, it's going to be $13,750. I mean, that's a, that's a hell of a deal, man. This is an 8.2 cap, all right? You're only putting up $13,750. Your mortgage payment every month is going to be two hundred nine. So after you pay that mortgage off, you're still going to be left with, on average, one seventy one a month, or you're going to be putting in your pocket two thousand forty five a year, plus all that money you're saving for your capital expenditures, your repairs, all that other money. So there's going to be more on top that you're saving for a rainy day, but you should be clearing two thousand forty five in pure profit. That is a cash on cash return of fourteen point nine percent, and the best thing is, man, you only spent about fourteen grand, so you have your seventy grand, so that leaves you with. Uh, what is that? That'd be 60, like 56 grand, right? You still have your $56,000 ready to go for the next deal. Now, if on the next deal, uh, you want to attempt to do a bird deal uh, where you try to pull, pull the money back out so you have less than 25% uh, into the deal, we can attempt to do that, but something's going to have to move uh, in regards to what you're looking for. Um, 56 grand wouldn't get you a single family in a B-class area, right? Obviously, we couldn't do a bird deal for 70 grand here. So you're going to need to get more cash if you want to pull more money out of other sources uh, and get yourself like maybe closer to $100,000, maybe $115,000. Um, if you can get a hundred to hundred fifteen thousand, we might be able to work something there, find something. It'll probably still be a single family. Uh, it's going to be real tough to find yourself a, a B class burr on a multifamily, or you can um, possibly go down a level into the C class. We can try to do some stuff there. Or what I think would probably be an even smarter strategy for you though is to kind of stick yourself in this nice little niche that I found for you, these mid-50 to $60,000 nice little B-class singles in the Garfield Heights area. Euclid's got some opportunities that are going to be similar to this one. I mean, if you're only putting in, you know, 14 grand into the deal cash, you still got 56 of your 70. I mean, we could do this for you, you know, a handful of times. Remember, you can only get 10 residential mortgages, okay? You can only get 10 of these things. So you want to burn the first one on your personal home. I assume you got a personal home that you own out there in Daly City, right? So that's one. You only have nine left. If you're putting in, you know, ten to $15,000 into each of these properties, 
So that would be 90 plus another 45. That's only going to be 135,000. You had 70 to start with. So with your 70, uh, you just double that up, and we should be able to, you know, exhaust all of your residential loans. And uh, that's just by doing stuff like this. So you don't always have to do uh, an extreme amount of work and spend time uh, on the rehab waiting for all that stuff to happen. Sometimes I could just go in and find you the property and you could just knock it out right there with a, a very limited amount of cash. Uh, and to that point, to getting these particular properties, what you got to do is you got to you gotta move quick. So I want to show you something. I don't know if you've seen this. Okay, you go to HoltonWise.com. This is a newer product. So we're, you just, I'll show you how to get there. You go to Property Search for Sale. There's obviously the Investment Properties for Sale show. Uh, if anybody else watching this show right now has not seen that show, definitely click on that. Definitely sign up to our mailing list. We email that show out to you guys every day at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Those are the properties that I am personally selling. Uh, I am the number one seller of rental properties in the Cleveland market. Uh, but a lot of people come to the MLS uh, search and analysis show uh, like uh, Dwayne did because when I sell a property, I've got such a wide range. There's so many investors watching these shows here on Holton Wise TV that, uh, you know, we'll get 25, 30 offers on every property that goes out. So if, you know, 20 people try to buy a property, obviously I sell it to one person. That's 19 people that don't get a property. So you guys are looking to other sources. You know, you're looking at what the other realtors and stuff have listed, and uh, you're finding that other realtors, they don't talk the talk of investors, right? A lot of these realtors are trying to sell these properties, um, you know, the same way they would sell, like, owner-occupant stuff, right? They don't see them as rental vehicles like I do. So you guys come to me, and I'll give you all the details, or I'll search that MLS looking for these properties. That's what I'm doing here for Dwayne. But if you go all the way down, man, new product, right? These are the real-time MLS feeds. These things are as cheap as can be. $29.99 and it is a one time fee. That's not $29.99 a month. That's not $29.99 a year. You click that, you buy yourself one of these, and you open the email once every other month. This is a lifetime product. If you don't open it every month, it will automatically shut off and you will need to buy another one if you'd like to re up. But what I've done is I've taken all of the inventory i've given you guys my direct mls access you get access to my broker my broker mls account you're gonna see these properties the moment i see them i broke it up into five categories i wrote about this in the ultimate guide to grading cleveland neighborhoods in the show notes below i'll have a link to that a b c d and f right that's how we grade the risk the risk of the neighborhood Dwayne happens to be looking for B class. So we got B class. So if you take a look at the B class products, there's three. And there's going to be three for every one of these grades B class singles, B class multis, B class five plus unit apartments. So, Dwayne, what you want to do, man, if I were you, I would get myself a real time MLS feed for these B class singles because that is the niche for you. And the moment these little properties come available, Okay, you're going to know about it. You're going to be faster. So if there's other investors out there, they're like looking at like Zillow or Realtor.com, they're like a week possibly behind you. You're going to have the data in the moment it comes out. And then you can quickly order an MLS analysis from me and I could break it all down to make sure the investment's good. This way you're not wasting your time looking at DNF class stuff, wondering if it's actually going to be B. You're going to know it's B and you're going to know that the moment it comes out. And maybe we could snag deals like this one where you don't actually have to do that big ass rehab. You can just get in 10, 15K Grab your income the moment you close on the deal because it's already rental, uh, rented by another tenant and just move on to the next one, man. I mean, you still got $56,000 of your $70,000 uh, nest egg <clears throat> to utilize towards the other investments. So you pick this one up quickly. You know, we can hammer right into the second one, right into the third one, et cetera. So uh, if you want to buy this property, Dwayne, uh, you could either reach out to the listing agent directly, or if you want, I will represent you. You'll get access to me and my personal team. Uh, my email's at the bottom of the screen, jameswise at holtonwise.com. Uh, just send us an email if you want us to represent you. We'll handle all the negotiations. We'll get your inspector in there. We'll give you a referral to inspector, uh, inspectors in the area, third-party inspectors, you know, 
We'll, we'll put you in contact with lenders, so we'll just finance the thing right away, or we'll work with any lender you're working with. We'll get the appraiser in there. We will handle everything, and then, of course, my property management team uh, will onboard it into our property management portfolio, and we'll take care of it. For everybody else out there, if this is the first time you've seen one of my shows, first time you've ever watched Holton Wise TV, do yourself a favor and smash that subscribe button. As always... I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry. Certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year, you get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content, including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from health. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.